Hello everyone, my name is Bilal Ali and welcome to the Macmillan Education India channel. Today, we will be discussing about a very important topic and that is decoding the interview. There are a lot of myths among the people before they appear for an interview. Most of the times, I have seen candidates rotating the answer of the toppers. It is very very important for all of us to understand that what are the common questions asked in an interview. So today, I will be taking you through five important questions that are always asked. So let's begin. Now let's start with the first question. The first question that is always asked is, tell me something about yourself. There is a common answer that majority of the people answer these days is and that is as you can see from your resume I would like to tell you something different from that. My dear candidates we should refrain from this answer. Tell me something about yourself. It is an important question because this question actually gives you an advantage to discuss and tell about your traits. Your response should include information related to your education qualifications, hobbies, strengths and achievements. Suppose this question is asked to me that Bilal, tell me something about yourself. Then how would I answer? Now my response will be like, my name is Bilal Ali and I have done my masters in international relations. Currently, I am working as a motivational speaker and product marketing manager at Macmillan Education India. My hobbies are watching documentaries. I am a very lively person that has led me to learn from my failures of life. Nevertheless, I have also qualified my UPSC, ND and CDS exams and have trained the civil services officers at the very young age of 24. Now while I was answering this question, I told about my education qualifications, about my hobbies, about my strengths and achievements. Now this is the best time when you can showcase your personality in a very positive manner and the interviewer will surely be impressed by your answer. Please remember that while you are answering this question that tell me something about yourself, please do not add words like I am a hard worker, I am a keen learner, I don't quit and my strength are that I can do anything in life. Remember one thing, you are simply telling about yourself, be free and make sure that you practice this answer well before you appear for an interview. Question number two is, what are your hobbies and interests? I have come across a lot of candidates who often ask me that what should be the exact answer to this question. Remember one thing, that if the interviewer is asking you that what are your hobbies and interests, so please remember that what are your hobbies and interests? Because I have seen candidates copying the answer of others. For example, they simply say that I love reading. So automatically the interviewer is going to ask you questions related to your reading choices, related to the authors. And that is the time when you simply fake up the answer and you are not able to elaborate yourself. Introspect your personality and try to find out that what are your hobbies and interests. The interviewer is actually interested to see that what exactly do you do in your pastime, how multi-skilled you are, how do you utilize your time and what are your time management skills. So please be wise, develop a hobby and by chance if you don't have any hobbies or interests, so it's better to say a big no instead of lying. If I talk about hobbies and interests, it's not only about that we speak about the hobbies. It is also important to know the exact relevant details related to your hobbies. Suppose you love traveling, so please know about the places that you have traveled in the past. If you love playing sport, know about the history of the sport. The interviewer is also interested to see your knowledge related to your hobby. This is the reason that this question is asked. So please prepare your answer accordingly. Now let's move on to the next question, which is, where do you see yourself after 5 or 10 years? Before answering this question, it is very important to probe down that why is this question being asked. If the interviewer is asking this question, the basic intention is to know your knowledge and passion related to the field. 
Suppose you are going for an interview in a bank organization. So if this question is asked that where do you see yourself after 10 years and you join as an assistant manager. So after 10 years, you will be a senior manager or a deputy manager. So it is important for all of us to understand that while we are answering, we should align our goals according to the respective organization we are going for or we have applied for. Like majority of the times I have seen candidates doing a mistake like they are going for a job in an IT company and if this question is asked that where do you see yourself after 5 or 10 years then they end up answering like after 10 years I'll be an IPS officer or I'll qualify UPSC. So why will the interviewer select you if you have different goals and ambitions? It is very very important to understand that if this question is asked then we should align our goals, objectives, ambitions sinking to the organization because the organization is going to put in a lot of effort in your training and development part and no one wants that if I hire you today so after 10 years you are going to quit the organization. Second important thing while answering this question is since this is a very very important question and that is you should also be practical. If you are going for an interview in the army and this question is asked so definitely after 10 years you won't end up being a brigadier you will only become a major. So it is important to be practical since the interviewer is looking your knowledge your passion as well as your dedication towards the organization if you have some other desires or goals so please you don't have to tell your other desires and goals it's better to stick to the organization to stick to the organizational objectives and then answer this question accordingly the fourth question is that is also very common and that is why we should select you trust me this question is a blessing for you because you can showcase your personality in a very positive manner. If this question is being asked that why we should select you. So this is an added advantage to showcase your strengths, to showcase and talk about your achievements. But at the very same time, you should be very practical while answering this question. Like if I'm over here and if this question is asked to me, then definitely I'll be talking about my liveliness. I'll be talking about my communication skills. I'll be talking about that how effectively I can lead a team. Now afterwards, while you will be answering this question, the interviewer is going to ask questions related to your answers that you have answered. So please be specific about yourself. Then only you will be able to answer this. At the very same time, please don't be over ambitious. You simply have to be calm and composed. And as I told you earlier, just talked about your strength, just talk about your positive attitude and how his organization is going to get benefited. Because it is very, very important that are you going to be an asset for the organization or are you going to be a liability? And at the very same time, it should not happen that you are being too honest telling about your weaknesses. Please refrain from that. Be logical, be practical and answer accordingly. Now the next question is, if you are not selected, then what will you do? The basic intention behind this is to look forward your plan B. Suppose you have joined an organization and tomorrow you have been assigned with a project or task and you are not able to complete that problem. So at this point of time, definitely that critical thinking and your creative mindset is required or to say a plan B is required for that problem or to complete that task. In the similar manner, the interviewer is interested to know your plan B in life. It should not happen that as a person you become so over ambitious that after being asked this question, you are simply going to say, no, sir, I will only get selected for this job. Guys, in reality, Plan B's are very very important and at the very same time while you are answering this it is also important to showcase that what other plans you can carry for your future because every question that is asked in an interview has a purpose. The purpose is to look forward that tomorrow if you are going to join an organization then how effective you are going to be because every problem doesn't need a single solution. There are a lot of solutions required at times. There are a lot of pressure. There is a lot of stress. And if this question is being asked, the reason is to look forward that in stress, how you are going to perform. So if I say that what should be an answer for this, then you could answer like 
So if I'm not selected at this time, so definitely I'll try working on my weakness. I'll introspect my personality and definitely will get selected the next time. Simultaneously, I'll also take another job to support myself and my family because your responsibility skills are also being checked. So please be very wise, be very calm while answering these questions. Please remember that while you are going for any interview, whether it is a UPSA interview, it's an SSB interview, it's an interview for a corporate job, certain essential skills are checked and those skills are simply the skills of leadership because tomorrow if you are joining an organization you are going to lead a team and a leader is always a critical thinker a person who has immense creativity in mind who never quits so this is the reason that these questions are asked and be practical at the very same time you don't have to speak things which are not logical or practical till the time all the very best happy learning and thank you very much